With breaking news, this is a News 13 special report. As we come on the air at 530, we're continuing to follow live breaking news in Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach police officers responded to the area of Longleaf Circle this morning to reports of a barricaded person that's just off Little River Road, not too far from 44th Avenue North. My lock, it starts our live. And Maya people were evacuated from their homes. Others told to stay inside and police even told our team at one point someone started shooting at officers there. That's right, Megan, and it all started around 8.30 a.m. this morning when police received a tip that a man wanted in a domestic dispute was in one of these homes behind me. It doesn't look like it right now, but earlier today, law enforcement and fire crews flooded the area. He did eventually barricade himself in the house because he did not want to come out, and after several hours of negotiations, he did surrender. And now that man that barricaded himself is currently uh, getting checked out at a local hospital. Hospital. Officials has not yet released the name of the suspect. We do know that he shot at police several times, but officers did not exchange fire. No officials were hurt. Police officers were communicating with him by phone, and they did say they uh, threw a tear gas in the back of his house in an attempt to push him to the front of the house. And around 3 p.m., fire crews showed up to the scene. The Myrtle Beach Fire Department did confirm there was a fire. They are not sure yet what started the fire, but officials said there were loud explosives, uh, loud explosive sounds coming from the house, and it did look like a firework. It's going to be a matter of, uh, of investigation. There were some pops that went off inside. It's unclear exactly what happened inside that caused the fire, but uh, it'll be part of our investigation. Fire crews and law enforcement have already started heading out and clearing the area, and neighbors have been allowed uh, back into their homes. Reporting live from Myrtle Beach, Maya Lockett News 13. Aya, thank you so much for that live report. And Julia Kennedy has been on this scene since the story broke this morning. And Julia, you've been with neighbors out there all day long. They've certainly had a tense past few hours. Yeah, Megan and Ed, the Longleaf Complex area has been secured. Everybody's here from city police to county police to SWAT teams and the FBI. But Master Corporal Tom Vest says the surrounding area is secured and safe. I spoke with many neighbors on intersecting streets and nearby neighbors within the apartment complexes, but it seemed very few actually knew the suspect. One even said that who did know him, who said that he was even fairly new to the area, but did not come out of his house very often. So I saw the two policemen, you know, they were all decked out in their SWAT gear and everything. He says, well, it's just an altercation. And I said, was it a barricaded gunman? He says, uh, no, it's worse. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit shocking, you know, for here especially. The Myrtle Beach Fire Department is still on the scene live at his house as they're investigating the fire that did happen. We'll keep you posted. Reporting live in Myrtle Beach, Julia Kennedy, News 13.